Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. And had to get that to record right. Alright. I'm sure it's um, user error. Uh, anyway, I made another journal. This one is chicken themed. And it is softback. Again, not the softback journal. I took this over and showed it to my uh, friend Libby today, and she liked it. She pointed out, you made chicken. I said, yes, I did. <laughs> this tie is some, it's jute, 80% jute and 20% nylon. And let me see if I can find it. It's simply fall, and I got it a long time ago. At AC Moore. I don't think I paid $6.99 for it. I'm not that much of a ribbon person, but it doesn't fray. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I just tied it up around there because I thought it matched it up pretty well. This came out of the same pack that uh, the other material came from, the one that I showed uh, last time. I did not put the card stock in this one so it is definitely a soft journal I did however put quilt batting in between and I put this jute trim down the side simply because I screwed up one of my holes you can even see how it's puckered there I caught the material not quite on the where I wanted because I sewed down the center of these to make sure that I know where center is and I got it off just a little and I pulled the thread a little bit so I put some some of that on there and that came from Dollar Tree in the uh, floral aisle and I think it looks good whenever I sewed it together I, this is embroidery twined embroidery thread whatever you want to call it I doubled it because I didn't have any heavier and it was a, just seemed a little thin Anyway, that's it, and uh, I went ahead and used a zigzag stitch, and then that stitch that looks to me looks like chicken tracks. <laughs> and then once I was done, I pinked, I pinked, uh, pinked it. That's what it's called, pinking. You know, when you use your pinking shears, I use pinking shears. All right, I'm gonna open it up, and that's the inside. I made, I had a the um. Uh, the pack of paper that I used to for those little pockets was the Rooster Provincial by Recollections. And I'm looking for a date. 2012. <laughs> and um, this and this is all Tim Holtz. And I did use one of the cut aparts out of the pack for that. It's French. It's, you know, this is called... One of Rooster Provincial, Provincial, yeah, that's usually associated with friend. I took some guest checks and I stained them with my sprays, and uh, I have a rooster dye that I got a long time ago. This paper, the music paper, and this tape is out of a box of your creative studio. This and this is Tim Holtz, and then I just left it on the back. Okay, what I did just a little bit ago was I got some digital downloads out that were chicken stuff. I'll show those to you in a minute. This paper is handmade paper, and I got this, I bet I got this 10, 10 years ago. I won it, I won a giveaway, and I even forget who the lady, what her name was, but I got that, and then there's my tea dye paper. This I use my regular journal, junk journal type paper. That um, tea dye paper, that's um, airmail paper. Uh, paper I got out of a composition book. And then this is part of an 8.5 by 11 um, pack of scrapbook paper that my daughter got me. And I thought it kind of popped that color, you know. And I, when I think of chickens and all that, I think of summertime. And anyway, so there's that. Uh, pretty much my 
usual stuff. This was also that paper. It also in the that giveaway that I won. There's all kinds of stuff in it. And I just got it out and looked through it. And then my quilting um, coloring page. My quilt coloring page. More of that. This. And then there was pieces of this too. And it's um, handmade paper. And it's got like leaves and stuff in it. And this was in you get these pads at I used to get them at my you know my brick and mortar Joanne which is no longer there but you can get them at Joanne it's map ledgers and text or text map and ledgers or something like that it's like a little 8 by 8 and that's it I stuck it in the center and see there's my double string oh I tied it and I just left the strings long Okay, then you know you just go. There's the other side of that paper. Got that, got like seeds and stuff in it. And then you know, pretty much, I didn't cut it. I just folded it over. Same here. I didn't cut it. I just folded it over. Um, that's this. And I didn't cut it. Folded it over. Yeah, I just think that looks nice and summery. And this one finally got some summer to it. The last one was like. Wednesday Adams journal, a little dark. And that, I like this one because it said we also sell woven fence, barbed wire nails, poultry netting, concrete rebar, concrete wire mesh. I kind of like that. And then on this, that big piece of handmade paper, I did not. I folded it over. I pinked the edge. It was a big long piece. This was like it was like twice as long. I don't know how they did that, but anyway, I pinked the edge when I cut it apart. And then this is the other pocket. Of course, some holds, I got the field notes. So it all came from field notes. And then this little collect 865 identification check, that was in there. But it was in the little words, the word book that I get my words out of, Tim Holtz. And it was all, all one thing. I just cut it after the dot, 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 and put the other one down below. Live simply, give generously. And the other one said, what? Own your dreams. I actually put that on a little label. But that's what I did with this. And then this is what this looked like. I kind of did this just a little bit different. But, uh, there you go. It's doesn't, it's real soft. It doesn't have the, see, it doesn't have the cardstock in it. It's really soft. But I think it works. I think it works. Okay, what I did was I cut out a couple of these. Let me show you what I got. Um, I got this one. I don't even know where I got it from. These are real small. Really small. And they're hard to cut apart. I didn't give it a favorable review. These are actually supposed to be ATC cards, which I guess that they are. Let's see how I cut some of these. Oops. Right. Yeah, two and a half by three and a half ATC size. So I got these. I printed on, once on white, and then I printed once on not white. Printed on like, but I cut them apart. I cut these apart. These are pretty cool. I didn't know if I should stick some of those in there, or see, so yeah, I cut cut some of these. Have these. See how small they are? I don't even know how big these are. I keep getting them the wrong way. Um, geez, like one and seven eighths. Might as well say two by three. I didn't know if I should stick one of those down in there because it seems like it's going to get lost. I thought, well, maybe these. Maybe these. Maybe these. Maybe one of those. I think one of those. I think I like this one up here better. This one, like there, and then the white or the rooster. I like this rooster. The rooster's pretty, so I'm going to put them there like that. So I'm going to put those in there. Anyway, that is my chicken journal. I'm going to try to get it up to the place maybe tomorrow. Maybe. I might have to work tomorrow. Probably should work tomorrow, although I work Sunday. Got called Sunday. Anyway. That's it. Um, like I said, I kind of like it without the that um, without the cardstock in there because the cardstock, I, you know, it's kind of hard to sew it. 
Anyway, there you go. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.